And how um, do you manage like the quality then if they're renting from you? That is a great question. <laughs> um, and, and you know you learn over time. Yes. So yes. I, I've, it's been a couple years, so I had to learn how to um, um, pick and choose the type of people that you want in a glamour salon suite. So I let them know you are your own boss. You keep 100% of your profit, you know, um, but there's a glam room way to do things. So there's one like structure of, and they get a handbook when they join. So oh, handbook, that's neat. Yeah, yeah, so I created this handbook and it's just, it, just things like, you know, drug-free zone, mm -hmm. um, respect others, no loud music, this is the uh, quiet period, just like little things like that to where it's just like standard across the board so you don't have to mm -hmm. pick and choose. It's like, have the handbook, you know what you're supposed to do. And all the girls are provide quality service. Their work is good. You know, make sure everyone has like insurance and things like that to cover business. So there's a checklist that they have to mark Go off mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to be approved to come in. Versus okay. before, it might be, oh, yeah, you know, let's do it. But I learned like that doesn't always work. <laughs> right. So um, do they have to have a certification or a business license? Do you yes. check that? Yep, so yep, they yep, are. Yep. They're so they're all either licensed or as a Yes, or exactly. As a okay, that's yep, great. Yep, yep. And that's the great thing is that we have, that's why I can always say we have quality, certified, you know, yes. people here at the Glam Room. Yeah. And I've seen the girls like grow. That's the great yeah. thing. Like I've seen them um, buy houses. Like, you know, things like that. And yeah, I'm like, big life, they're making Yeah, and I'm moves. like, you have to be doing great, growing. You've been here a couple of years, and that's another thing, too. Uh, most of the girls have been here for a few years, mm -hmm. you know, so that's a that's the awesome thing. And um, my leases are one to two years because I don't want a lot of turnover. I don't want every right. time someone comes, it's different people. I have right. you know, so you have to have some type of commitment, clientele, and professionalism you know so when they service. come in are they bringing a clientele with them they, have to, have, they have to have a clientele mm -hmm. how do you check that like do they have a client list or a book that they've kept appointments in no it's more like i do the research on they have to have referrals for one right um they have to i check their social media i check their um referrals so like if you put three people or someone you worked for um and it's just one of those things like i just tell you yes it's not really like Prove it. Yeah. Prove it. Yeah. Or it's part of the it's part of the checklist, but I tell them you have to have clientele. You, you will struggle. It's gonna it's hard work even with clientele to mm -hmm. start up your own business. Yes. You know, and I don't want anyone coming in having a struggle. Right. Worst case scenario, I will bring them in under me and say, Hey, you can just work for me. You know, get a feel, see how it is. And then venture out on your own. I've done that with one or two of the girls. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. That's so cool. that way, that's what I was going to ask you. So you mentored. I know we talked about mm -hmm. this when we did the Nexus yeah, podcast. Yeah, 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 yeah. About mentoring and how important that is to you. Yes. So you're still actively doing that. Yes. And with the Institute, that's, that's the next goal so that I can grow is to bring them on. And hopefully if you go through your licensure with Glamour Beauty and Brows Training Institute, you actually start working for us and we, that's how we yes. build the team right. and I trained you so I know the quality and then you really learn and grow and you get more experience and um, we kind of have build a team environment yes that so that's sense. that's my goal with that yeah. at the same yeah. time yep Yes, yeah, and so. then there are different types of microblading for brows, correct? There's the new yes. like the powder brow exactly and, okay so, so so the so for one, I let like to let people know like I'm licensed. So mm -hmm. I'm a licensed permanent cosmetic tattoo artist. Uh -huh. I'm a licensed instructor. I'm a licensed institute. So I'm licensed. Yeah. So, so you really know your stuff. <laughs> yeah. Right. So you're really because people are like, why are your price like they'll call and say, why are your prices here? And um, I t because my experience, I know how to treat the clients. I know the expectations. I know what each individual. And then I am I draw the brows uniquely to each individual person. So you're not going to ever get the same brow as someone else. That's yeah, I remember seeing of, that. When, when you took yeah. us through, she took us through when we did the ribbon cutting into this room and kind of showed, you had images. That's right, that's right. It was incredible mm -hmm. how detail-oriented Crystal is. It, is it was really, 
I mean, you're an artist. I mean, yeah. she really is an artist because the way she's drew, she drew everything on it was like, oh my gosh, that's yeah. amazing. And I, don't, and I don't do templates, but um, the difference in microblading, so microblading is like a 3D effect. So oh. I, you're literally creating the eyebrows one stroke at a time one, with yeah. needles. So yes. it's a hand tool. So some people lay there and they're like, oh, I thought I, thought I was about to hear this machine. I'm like, nope, it's oh. needles and a hand tool and I'm drawing it in, right? And then you have people who want shading, which is the newest. That's latest when you yeah. want, yeah, the powder, more makeup. You want to look made up. And that is with the machine. And it's oh, like, that's with the machine? That's with the machine. So you're coloring oh. it in. Yep, so that's So which one, do they last the same amount of time? Or it is, can. It all it can. depends. It's just that the shading is more defined. So it's, it's fuller, it's thicker, it's deeper. Yes. So it's just more vibrant. Mm -hmm. You know, microblading is natural like this. Yes. Right? Yeah. So it will fade and lighten and go more natural. Yes. The shading is more darker, so it's going to stay the way that it is longer, oh, and that's okay. what people like that's about interesting. it. Um, but you feel like the school is really that's really that's where that's it's at. The, that's where it's at right now for me. Mm -hmm. I am I'm, I'm transitioning a lot to do more teaching, so there's okay. a lot of people up and coming in the area that is doing this, and so even when I was certifying them, I still didn't feel complete because I'm like. You're out there just doing it with no license. Yes. In Virginia, not yeah. if you came from somewhere else. So now I can provide them with the schooling for them to actually go take the board to get their licensure. And if you once you do that, you can come and get a job with me, That's even if you don't even have the experience because yes. your license, I can teach you everything yes. else from there. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the most important. That's where I want to put my focus at, and then. Um, that's really the focus right now. The first class, I have it set for July 15th, I think. Okay. So I really want to get it full to like six people mm -hmm. starting out. Um, so that's really my focus. And I need to hire instructors. I need to hire. So I'm gonna, I want to have a, um, an interest event. That's a good idea. I'm going to make like a yeah. job fair mm -hmm. almost. Like yeah. come learn. Mm -hmm. Are you interested in teaching? Because some things you can, if they have it already, you can train them to teach certain things. They might can't teach the permanent makeup stuff, right. but they might be a good teacher in anatomy and physiology or something. Mm -hmm. Going, congratulations. I, I understand you're the president of the class. I that's a big deal. Yeah. They that's told really me good. that's a big deal. It's a big they deal. Like, I've been getting phone calls from people just like, hey, do you want to attend this? Would you like to come and be a panelist? So it's been I'm like, wow. Yeah. 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 It's really of opens course. a lot of doors. It it's does. very exciting. Did, did I think I was going to be the president? <laughs> no. And I had just said, I was like, okay, I got a lot going on after this leadership class and we do this awesome project. Like, I am done. I am taking a break. And then that Next happened. Thing you know, and yeah. I said, <laughs> no break for me. Nope. It's, yeah. it's about the assignment. So yeah. I the assignment. So I was excited when it happened. I said, okay, so yeah. next, next step. That's really exciting. Good yeah. for you. Figure out how you do it all. That's yeah. What are some she tips? Has young, she has a young a son, also a young yeah. son. So yeah. please give us the. He encourages you know. me. He, he helps me, but um, how I do it all, you know, um, I just do it. <laughs> I don't know how to like. I just do it. Um, you have and, a lot of but, energy. Yeah. yeah. I, a little, but you know what I've recently learned, and someone was kind of giving me advice and. Because it gets overwhelming, mm -hmm. you know, at times. They said, you know, counseling yeah. for your self-care. Like, you don't have to be going through something or yes. to do that. But that's your mental, that's your self-care. That's what, So I started to do that. So I'm, I have nice. a counselor or ther whatever you want to call it. And they just, how's it going? What are you going through? You know, and just kind of keep you positive and just upbeat. And yes. Say, Take a break. It's okay. So I've been kind of starting to do that newly, recently. To just keep me grounded with stress levels. That's interesting. Yeah, one of my friends um, has a mentor who has told her that the new thing that she needs to start doing is they call it pause breaks, where you yes. make yourself stop and take a break. Yes. Um, intentionally. Yep. Whether or not you feel like you need it, you do. Yep. And mm -hmm. so you build it into your daily schedule mm -hmm. on your calendar or however you keep yourself organized. That's good. And she said she thought it was really stupid, but it turns out that it's it a really good thing. It works. Yeah. My mentor that I, I have from Fredericksburg Leadership yes. is amazing. Yeah. And has helped me to understand, because I take on a lot of things, but to help me understand a lot of Okay, what are your top three priorities for today? It's so funny. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 
focus on that. Everything else will be okay. You know, just yeah. grab, instead of trying to do everything in a day, like just gradually focus on and you'll get to the end goal. So having a mentor definitely too with the self-care helps yes. us a whole yeah. lot. That's what she said. Because he, her, the, the reason I got to the pause breaks was her mentor was saying, so what are you involved in? And he, and he was like, this is impossible <laughs> for one person to do exactly. all of this. You just can't. What can you put aside and do later? Well, how can you do it? And then he was like, you have to at least be taking these breaks to be able yes. to measure, you know, where you are, what you're doing, and re reprioritize. And then to learn what fire drills are. Because for me, everything was a fire drill. If someone was like, oh, my light went out. I'm like, oh, my God, the light went out. Know. <laughs> and it's like, like okay, Crystal, it's, it's going to be okay. It's, you know, so learning the fire drills and what requires your attention immediately what versus yeah. what things you can kind yeah. of follow back up. With. Yeah. So. And other people can also... You don't have to micromanage everyone and everything. Other people the control, control responsibility. The control, though. Yep. Yeah, I know. That's a tough one. <laughs> that That's is. a really hard one. Yeah, but I, I'm learning that. <laughs> April, see me. No, no, no. We're going to do it like this. <laughs> She's like, here we go. I used to be a producer. So I oh, get direct. I so I'm that. always like, wait a sec. I think we could like, move the flower and do this. And people are like, oh, what's happening? <laughs> And now April's just like, oh, we'll never be done. <laughs> so yeah. what's on the other side over yeah, there? Yeah, let's look at the other side. Yeah. This is so pretty.